What's going on, Salt Tugans? Welcome back to another video. And okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys first and foremost, you guys don't get freaked out, okay? I'm gonna have long hair in this video, and that's because this video is from about two months ago. I thought I accidentally deleted it um, on my big camera because uh, I had it all filmed and ready to go, and then something happened. Like I lost my SD card, and um, and then I refound it, and I for kind of I kind of forgot that I had this whole episode on my SD card and I went through and just deleted a lot of stuff and I was just going back through it and I, and I, and I found it. So yeah, I was like, okay, well I found it, why not put it out? So, and it actually works out perfect because I've been on vacation this past week with my girlfriend, I had a great time, went up north and uh, so yeah, this, this works out perfect and it gives me an opportunity to give y'all a video and uh, let me catch back up in terms of fishing and filming and stuff of that sort. So. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, this is from about two or three months ago, and uh, so don't get freaked out. And uh, for, hey, as always, enjoy. Leave a like if you guys do enjoy. Subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment if you guys have any questions. But on that note, enjoy. What is going on, Salt Tuga? This is your boy Kavarta Media. Today, I'm gonna be doing another catch and cook. I got right here some. Florida Pompano, me and my buddy called the other day. I didn't catch these actually. My my uh my buddy's son caught these. Uh, we had like a rotation going. Like I had the second fish, he had the first fish, and then uh, his dad had the third. So he ended up catching all the Pompano, but he didn't want them, so he gave them to me. But he said that he wanted me to do a catch and cook with them. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, folks. Gonna be doing a catch and cook. I got two nice slabs of meat right here, but basically what I did, I basically filleted these and kept the skin on because I'm going to be grilling these guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be uh, putting them on the grill. I have some butter right here that I just got done melting. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush some butter on these two fillets and uh, season them up with some spices and then I'm going to chunk them on the grill. That's all I'm going to be doing gonna be keeping it really simple but yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage of us catching this guy and uh, after that I'm gonna meet y'all back here in the kitchen and we'll get this catch and cook started peace out saddle boy saddle all right first fish of the day right here folks Cody's hooked up <laughs> they run right at the beach. yep yep that rod doubled over folks on the live sand fleas uh oh it's through <laughs> that that bird was looking at it for a second the osprey up there nice pompano man that's what i'm talking about nice pompano brother Woo -hoo -hoo! that's a stud right there man that's a stud Beast! That's a beast right there, brother. <laughs> Got the fish bites, folks, with the live sand flea. Well, now it's in his stomach, but there was a live sand flea. That, that's a nice one, huh? Oh, yeah, that's nice. All right, folks, first fish of the day right there. Cody caught that on the live sand flea. Beautiful Florida pompano right there. He's, he's probably, what, about 17 inches? Yeah, to the four. Yeah, beautiful fish. <laughs> Going in the ice box, huh? All right, so first and foremost, we're gonna get some butter on these bad boys, just like so. Just melted this a little while ago. We're just gonna paint it on each fillet, just like so. Gonna do it to both sides, actually, so that it's not gonna stick to the grill. All right, once we just painted our butter on this, folks, we are going to, I'm actually gonna give it one more layer of butter on this side, and then I'm going to begin seasoning these up. And I'm gonna keep it really simple. Um, what I got here, I got some pink Himalayan salt. Check that out. Got that fancy salt, folks. Got all trace minerals in there, you feel me? 
and I got uh, some of this Lawry's right there and I just got some regular Italian seasoning keeping it nice and simple folks but I'm just gonna season this just like that Ooh yeah looking delish folks looking delish put some Italian seasoning on there and then we are going to put some salt and there you have it really quick all, all I really did was melt butter and season them up with some spices of my choice and uh, now we just basically got a good chunk them on the grill so let's go all right guys time to put our fish on check that out look at that Ooh, pompano is some of the best eating fish on the planet probably the best eating fish on the planet guys and what we're gonna do we're gonna put this bad boy right down there and we're gonna get the second one we're gonna put it right about there we are just going to let that cook like so and we'll see y'all in about five or six minutes because it's not going to take long guys all right guys i am going to go ahead and flip these check that out right there Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. gosh that looks absolutely delicious these have been on this side for about i would say six minutes or so and check out that guys literally looks like a piece of grilled chicken almost I mean absolutely beautiful meat right there and excuse the the weird rig folks um this actually broke so I have to uh, set it on this piece of metal right here but I mean you know it's it's fine it's obviously getting the job done but oh uh, yeah sorry if it looks kind of like wacky but I'm gonna let this sit for about six more minutes and then we are going to dig in all right this is complete and check out that color i really wish that y'all could smell this guys look at that the butter is just rolling off oh my gosh i have to taste this all right so basically i'm gonna put it on my plate like that and then i'm just gonna peel this skin off guys and this skin should peel off fairly easy yep just like that Peel that skin off just like so. Throw it to the side. And we're going to do the same thing for this filet right here. All right. Our fish is complete. All in all, about 12 minutes on the grill. Skin on. Once it's done cooking, guys, y'all basically just peel that skin off. It's pretty easy to peel off. But there she is right there. We are going to get the rest of our butter that we had from earlier and we're just going to brush this on once again give it a little bit of like a little butter sauce and now the only thing left to do is to give this a taste test so let's do it cheers guys Oh my gosh. Guys, that is absolutely phenomenal. I'm not sure if any of y'all have ever had grilled Wahoo, but this tastes very similar to grilled Wahoo. This is absolutely phenomenal. Probably some of the best fish I've ever tasted in my entire life. I am not exaggerating. Very, very, very clean taste. No fishy taste whatsoever. I mean, there's not even a hint of of any type of like gamey fishy taste phenomenal fish right here i mean you could not ask for a, just a more perfect fish to throw on the grill i mean like i said fillet it leave the skin on throw it on about 12 minutes six minutes on each side and you have yourself some great fish but on that note folks we are going to me and my girlfriend she's actually behind the camera right now shout out to you babe. i love you, love you. but <laughs> but we are going to eat this and uh, watch a movie but i just wanted to thank y'all once again folks for showing so much love on all of my videos you know clicking that like button 
leaving comments, you know what I'm saying? It really does mean a lot, guys. Um, y'all are awesome. I freaking love y'all. And I hope y'all did enjoy this video. But that being said, we're going to eat this and we're going to enjoy our night. I hope y'all have a great night, great evening, great morning. Not sure when I'm going to upload this, but yeah, guys, I'll see y'all next week.